Hey guys, Jim here. Welcome in once again. Today we're going to be taking a look at a very budget-oriented set of knives. And I know that doesn't make a lot of sense considering what I typically bring out to my channel. You guys are more used to very high-end customs and the multiple thousands. And then high-end, even mid-range sometimes, production knives. But today, we're going to bring it all down. We're going to make it as inexpensive as humanly possible, especially given the premium materials that you're going to be getting here. Now, we're talking about the QSP Penguin. Now, a lot of you don't know what that is. Those of you that do are used to seeing a liner lock variation in D2 steel. And then later on, there was a slight upgrade into M390. But today, we're going to be looking at a frame lock instead of a liner lock. And we're going to be looking at S35VN steel. There's going to be a multitude of different variations available, uh, both in the blade finishes as well as the frames. Now, on uh, many of these, are going to be standard titanium. My particular favorite is the one with the purple hardware. And then, of course, you have the one that is full Timascus on the show side. And when we get into the pricing, I, I promise you, you're not going to believe that it is genuine real Timascus, but I assure you that it is because I even had to double check with them when they told me the price and I went, is that really Timascus? They're like, yep, sure as hell is. Well, they didn't say sure as hell, but they said sure is. Um, I put the hell in there. Uh, there are going to be variations in this really, really nice belt set and finish, as well as a stone washed finish. And the other variation in the frame that you're going to be seeing in this video is a carbon fiber presentation side as well. Now, why do I think this is worthy of you guys considering why do I have it out here on the channel? The price point for the materials you're getting is unheard of. You have Timascus pocket clips and titanium pocket clips. You have titanium pivots. You have titanium standoffs. All titanium hardware holding it together. No steel, nothing inexpensive being used. Uh, you also have one more thing I didn't want to forget, and I know I just forgot it. I'll remember it when the, oh, ceramic bearings instead of steel bearings. Uh, I got to tell you, the whole thing is utterly ridiculous. If I didn't see it for myself, if it wasn't sitting here in my hands, I would not believe it. And I got to tell you, I didn't have really high hopes. I'll be perfectly honest with you. After playing with these, they're slim in, in both directions, both in the height and in the thickness. They're really, really, really lightweight. The action is honestly pretty damn fantastic. They're not really drop shutty like a lot of you guys like. But again, remember, drop shutty is not an indication of quality. You can loosen the pivot on any knife and make it drop shut. Um, but I do think once these are broken in, because the pivots are a little bit tight and they feel a little tiny bit stiff, I think maybe once they're broken in, they could possibly get to that point. Actually, this one already is. Get it past the detent. So, yeah. So I, I guess it's really going to depend on how broken in it is. I'll be honest with you, this is the one I've been playing with the most because I kind of fell in love with it. Um, I'll tell you this, the carbon fiber variation, just to get the prices out of the way first, the carbon fiber variation is under $100. These are only slightly more. So when I tell you that this is definitely budget oriented, that it is a screaming deal, I absolutely mean it. But while I am going to go through the prices, I don't want to harp on the prices. I want to talk more about the quality of the knives. So without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and move straight into the meat of the video. Let you guys see these up close and personal. Please don't forget, if you like the video, click like. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. This helps the YouTube algorithm, lets more people see the videos. Uh, I even have subscribers that tell me from time to time, we didn't think that you were uploading anymore because we haven't seen anything for months. They had to go to my channel and actually see the videos that I've uploaded. So uh, YouTube is stifling a lot of uh, YouTubers that promote products like knives, other things that they consider to be weapons of some sort. So they are pushing us down. They are making it harder for you to see our videos. So the more you like a video, 
the more it gets spread around, the more that YouTube will allow people to see it. Also, if you're not already a patron, please do consider joining my Patreon because not only uh, do you get to support the channel and allow me to afford to bring out many, many, many more knives for much more content and more videos for you to watch, but you also get a chance to win cool free stuff, including really amazing knives. Uh, the custom that is going to be for the next giveaway, the handmade custom, arrives to me next week. I just talked to the maker about that. Uh, so there's a lot of cool stuff on the way, so please do consider doing that for as little as $5 a month. Let's get down to the tabletop and see some details about these knives and see why I think they're really a crazy, stupid value. And here's where we get the chance to look at these close up. And I got to tell you, I am excited because I'm excited for you guys. Let me just start. I'm going to start with the prices before I even open this up because a lot of you are really going to be here because you're chasing the price. If you do exotic or a non-exotic, there's a slight price difference. If you go non-exotic, you're as low as $99. Mid-range is 129 and the full whiz-bang, full freaking Timascus is $249. Think about that. You couldn't even buy the raw material in Timascus and the titanium components and the blade for that price. So it's absolutely crazy. Let's take a look at the packaging very quickly here. Here is the end sticker on the box. And yes, they are made in China. Do keep that in mind because that is why you're getting the value that you're getting. Uh, this is actually kind of a neat box because it's got a little slide out drawer. And when we get that, I know you look at that knife going, oh, oh, look at that. Uh, so you're going to get a couple of stickers. Uh, that's kind of cute with the penguin on there. Uh, have a knife day. How cute. And then you have this a little bit less cute. It's a wolf. There you go. All right, and then you're going to get your information card and your warranty information. Well, look at this. I could actually read this right off of here. Look at that. I don't have to memorize anything. 7.06 inches in your overall length. Uh, kind of a big deal because it's going to be just in that sweet spot for a lot of people to carry on the smaller side of things. Uh, 3.06 inches on the blade. Uh, I'm going to call it a three inch blade, honestly, because that's how much cutting edge you're going to have there after the little notch. And uh, that's pretty much all you need to know about that. We will weigh them here in just a couple of minutes. I need to get that. Oh, oh, go out, out of the way, out of the way. Okay. Now let's take a good close up look at the knife. Yes, of course I'm going to start with the Timascus. Why wouldn't I start with the Timascus? Look at this thing. Full Timascus presentation side, titanium pivot. Uh, in this case, it is going to be anodized purple. Titanium hardware. Titanium standoffs, also anodized to match in with the Timascus colors. You have a purple titanium lock side. You have the Timascus clip. Actually, Mokutai clip. My apologies. I, I keep getting carried away because I keep saying Timascus, but they are Mokutai clips. For those of you who don't know the difference, Timascus is just the trademark name by Alpha Knife Supply, uh, who made, who created, by the way. I, it's very important to point that out. They created the process in creating a Damascus out of titanium materials. Very, very difficult to do. The people that have tried doing it have had a very, very hard time uh, doing it themselves. Mokutai is the branded name for Chad Nichols' version of a Damascus of titanium components. So that is your difference. This is the belt satin blade. 
I'm not going to be able to get the sheen off of it that natural lighting gives, but it'll do like this rainbow sheen that dances uh, across the blade. It is really cool, really nice. Uh, they have very, very sharp edges. They did a great job grinding them down very, very thin and putting a very sharp edge on them. But Timascus is not going to be the only option. As I mentioned, I have a favorite. And believe it or not, it's not the Timascus. Well, yeah I, yeah, I think it's beautiful. There's just something I love about the natural look of titanium up against purple. I love purple accents. Really, really nicely done. Then we have an all-purple titanium with the purple pocket clip. Then we have an all-purple titanium with the Mokutai pocket clip. And then last but certainly not least, for those of you that want something crazy lightweight, we have the carbon fiber. And this is done in a Damascus pattern in the carbon fiber. Very slick, very cool, and this will also show you the alternate blade finish, which is going to be stone washed. All right, so that's out of the way. So let's go through the pricing. If you want the full Timascus, retail is 260 bucks, but the launch price, and the launch price for all these is good from Valentine's Day, February 14th, to February 28th. So the last two weeks of the month is what the launch prices are going to be good for. So 260 retail, 250 launch price. If you want the purple tie with the Moku tie clip, that's uh, 140 retail, 129 on the launch price. The regular naked titanium and the Moku tie clip. With the purple, oh, I love that purple. 140 retail, 129 for this two-week duration. And then the all purple, hello, 105 retail, 99. <laughs> $99 is the price uh, during this promotion. And I believe also the carbon fiber and the stone wash will be the uh, other $99 version. So QSP. It is a brand out of China, and they do generally produce super inexpensive knives. And as I mentioned in the intro, this model here has gone from a liner lock variation in D2 steel to a liner lock in M390, and now a titanium frame lock in S35VN. And the reason being, these things have been extraordinarily popular. They flew way under my radar. I did not know they existed. I had never seen them before. And now to see them come out here uh, in these titanium frame lock versions, I probably wouldn't have liked the D2 and liner lock version, to be perfectly honest with you. I may have liked the Warncliffe style blade. I may have liked a lot of the things about the knife, but it just wouldn't have really appealed to me overall, especially in D2. But to see it here in S35VN, which I'll give you a close-up here on the blade so you can see that, S35VN steel. You've got ceramic bearings, which makes for a nice smooth action. You have a double lug thumb stud that's uh, very nicely ringed, a nice conical shape as well. Snappy and fast action. You have these custom pivots, and for right now, they have the Drop logo. For those of you that have shopped with Drop, they used to be called Mass Drop, then they went to Drop. Um, here's the deal. The Drop branding is going away, and now, from now on, everything is going to be Caviso, plus the maker's name, or just the maker's branding. So these are manufactured by QSP. They're produced and offered by Caviso, and you'll be able to buy them on their website, and I'll give you all that information, but it's uh, cavisoutdoors.com, K-A-V-I-S, outdoors.com, Cavis, Cavis, I'm not sure. I haven't actually heard anybody pronounce it before. So that's where you'll be able to get these. Again, if you want the, the slightly lower prices for the introduction, it's uh, Valentine's Day through the end of the month of 2022. Um, so let's go over this again. S35 VN steel titanium frame lock. Uh, you can have the Damascus styled carbon fiber or full titanium or 
Timascus for your presentation sides. Uh, ceramic ball bearings, satin or stone wash blades, deep carry clip. Well, mostly deep carry clip. Um, deeper than I typically want, but not what some people may consider to be full deep carry. Uh, you're going to have that much of the knife exposed. Uh, again, you know I hate deep carry clips. I think the, the whole want and desire for it is just stupid. You're not a secret agent. And if you're trying to be discreet at work, uh, they see a pocket clip and they know that pocket clip is not attached to a pen. And it's just the way it is. They know you're carrying a knife. Stop being dumb about it. That's just my personal opinion on it. But if you like deep carry clips, that's going to be very, very close to being a super deep carry clip. Um, as far as the ergonomics, it is a small handle because it's a small knife overall. Don't, uh, don't misunderstand me on that. Uh, but it feels pretty good. They are slab sided frames so they're completely flat there is no contouring no palm swells just a simple slim slab sided titanium frame lock uh, they have rounded off the the very edges on the perimeter uh, going around the frame so it's not uncomfortable uh, you'll feel the pocket clip it's not a super hot spot but you'll know it's there you'll feel it uh, you've got good jimping not overly aggressive on the spine of the blade uh, they have very gently beveled the spine so that you don't have any super sharp edges. You're not going to be uh, cutting anything with it. Now, as far as the weight goes, let's get these out of the way. All the titanium versions are going to weigh the same. So we'll just measure one of those. Make sure I don't have it in fluid ounces like I did in one video. Thank you to that, uh, that astute viewer who picked up on that that day. So when you go into a full titanium, it's only 3.2 ounces. That's pretty incredible. Again, right there where a lot of people want it to be for EDC. If you go into the carbon fiber, it is 2.5 ounces. Very, 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 very lightweight. You're also going to be getting a large lanyard opening at the rear of the frame. If you do like to use lanyards, that's going to be very easily accessible to you. Um, there is the stone washed finish, by the way. Uh, please excuse the smudges from when I was doing the photography on these. This one definitely is not drop shutty. And again, I think they're going to vary from knife to knife. And I think that uh, once they're broken in, pretty much all of them will be. But you see it is still a very quick very snappy action overall. I'm going to quit handling that one. I already have to clean that before I send it back. See how this one is. Pretty drop shutty. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Get it past the detent there. Takes a little bit of extra wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. That one's a little bit tighter. And yes, because I've been playing with this one like crazy. That's got some pretty decent drop shut action. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, again, drop shut is not an indication of quality. Um, it is just my way of being able to demonstrate to you because you're not here touching the knife. It's my way of demonstrating to you that yes, this is a smooth knife. If I close it like this and tell you it's smooth, I could be lying through my teeth and you wouldn't even know it. But by doing this, then you know it's pretty darn smooth. Um, again, and I don't want to be biased and I don't want one, uh, everybody to just jump on one and <laughs> all the rest of them, uh, are, are available forever. And one's just perpetually sold out. But there's this, there's something about the all natural look of titanium up against purple that really, really does it for me. Um, the standoffs being done in purple, the Mokutai clip, it just, it's a really handsome color combination. I really, really do like it. If you do prefer all purple, there she is, man. I mean, how cool is that? That is pretty darn awesome. So yeah, that's, that's a look at the individual variations as they're being made available. My thoughts on this are, listen, I, I am not the kind of person that buys inexpensive knives. I honestly couldn't tell you the last time I bought something uh, that was $250 or certainly not $100. Um, I, I truly don't recall, but that's just where I am in my collecting. It's not that I feel that they're beneath me in any way. It's just my where I'm at in my stage of collecting after all these years, I tend to prefer 
higher end, more expensive knives. But the funny thing is, is you're getting so many of the premium materials that you would typically associate with those much more expensive knives. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not entirely certain how Caviso is able to do these crazy low prices. Again, this would have been uh, mass drop or drop or whatever. Ooh, that is, that's bitey. That's sharp. Um, I'm not exactly certain how they do that. Must be just buying in bulk. Must be buying a whole bunch of these things uh, and, and, and offering them. I just don't see how they're able to drive the price down especially as low as they have. I'm not really going to spend a lot of time uh, talking about the Timascus because that's a no-brainer and that's going to sell out on its own probably right away. So here's all the other variations for you to consider as backups. Um, I like the value. I like the feel of the knives. These are not hard-use knives. Don't get me wrong. It is a very, very, very thin ground blade. It is very slicey, and that's what it's going to be used for. Slicey, slicey things. It's a good EDC knife because it's small, it's slim, it's skinny, it's compact, and it's very, very lightweight. You probably won't even realize that you're carrying it. The pocket clips do work very well. They are well done where they're not impossible to get in or out of the pocket, but they do stay put where they belong. Just don't consider this to be a hard use knife. Um, obviously, with the belt satin finishes, it's a blade that if you use it a lot, you're going to mark it up. That's the way it is. If you're worried about that, if you really want it to be a user, get a version in the stonewash blade. And then, hey, that's what stone wash blades are made for. That's exactly why it was created. And it's a nice, handsome stone wash, too. Very similar to Chris Reeve's uh, stone wash. Uh, Chris Reeve, obviously, for those that don't know, is the one that brought us stone wash finishes to the knife world. And uh, it has been really probably the most popular finish in production knives ever since. Because you're not really afraid to use it. You're not afraid to mark it up a little bit. Stone washing hides it. And it's really easy to clean off getting all that yucky package tape and stuff off of there. You don't really have to worry about, you know, abusively cleaning it and scratching into a more delicate finish. So overall, uh, my thoughts are... It's not going to win any prizes. It's not going to be up for Blade Show Knife of the Year. Uh, it is not a hard-use knife. It's not a hinderer or a Medford or anything of that ilk or kind. What it is, is a combination of extremely high-end materials, very well put together in a clean, basic design, nothing over the top, nothing... Uh, extraneous to this design whatsoever. Clean finish work. Uh, I haven't seen any anything that jumps out at me as bad. I don't see any tool marks or anything like that. You've got ceramic bearings for a nice, smooth, and corrosion-free action. Um, who doesn't like a flat ground knife? I mean, it's going to do everything. It's going to be easy for you to maintain the edge because it's S35 VN steel. It's been around for quite a long time. We all know how easy it is to resharpen, and it holds an edge for a pretty decent amount of time. Overall, it's just a good solid knife. I'm not going to sit here and do backflips over it, but I do feel that because of its price point, it's something that a lot of people should consider. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, I have no affiliation, by the way, with QSP or, or anything like that. Um, I only got these because I'm going to be doing a video very shortly on some new Gavco knives. And they are he is partnered up with uh, Caviso as well. Uh, and the former drop name, I know it's very confusing and I apologize. Um, and while I was talking with them about that, those two knives that I'm going to be reviewing, they said, hey, we have the QSP Penguin coming back. I'm like, the what? <laughs> I looked into it and went, that's a cute little knife. So I'm like, yes, send a few of them out and, you know, I'll photograph them and I'll do a video. And uh, if they're great, they're great. If they're not, they're not. They, you know, it is what it is. I fell in love with this uh, titanium and purple. So I'm going to be buying one of these as well. I mean, what was the price on this? Tie handle purple, what, uh, $99? Is that what it was? I've already forgotten now. No, $129. $129 for that one with the mocha tie clip. I mean, for $129, I mean, God. I've spent that on a dinner by myself. I've, well, okay, well, let's be honest. I've spent that on lunch 
and and drinks. So uh, and a tip for the, the girl in the the pretty short shorts. Uh, <laughs> so I mean, for one hundred and twenty nine dollars in today's day and age, on a nice knife with these materials. It, to me, it's a no-brainer, and you'll probably feel the same. I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump on out of here. I've got a few more videos I've got to get done. Uh, so there it is, guys. The QSP Penguin. Cute name for a cute little knife, and you get cute little stickers. You got a cute little price. You, you're so cute. Uh, <laughs> and I think it's a pretty damn good value. Uh, with that, I'm out of here, and I'll see you guys on the next video.